All right, we just pulled up to the store. I gotta get my brother a little baby a birthday present. Tray. You want the uh, four count many, right? Yeah. Chick-fil-A service. Probably the most unbeatable thing ever found in fast food history. I will rank Chick-fil-A service superb, A1. Um, top two and not number two. Popeyes is probably probably an establishment that should, that should study Chick-fil-A. Yo, quick question. What makes you happy? Uh, family time. Family time? Yeah. That's a great answer, brother. Family time. One of the most important things we could ever have. What up, what up? Oh, I, I forgot your damn gift. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> Davina definitely said, yo, don't forget this dude's this gift. Is, this is the gift. <laughs> this is the gift. Alright, we good. Alright, we just pulled up to the studio we booked. We're doing another online academy video shoot. I've been grinding since Maybe like in November, top of December, I'm filming a brand new curriculum for the online academy. I know my members have been dying for new content. Uh, people that probably have been wanting to tap in, been waiting for new videos. Everybody been on me for new videos. It's been a crazy year last year, so I'm getting to it. I'm dedicating January, February, March, all to filming a brand new curriculum. And we're going to have some real, real, real fire videos coming. So y'all y'all about to see. I ain't going to show y'all too much, but y'all will see the production, the upgrade, and y'all getting everything y'all deserve for supporting me for, you know, the last couple of years. So, I got y'all, I promise that. But like I said, y'all, he want to get acquainted with you too. He had his own curriculum coming, so. I'm not as charismatic as Vic, but I'll... I nobody is. Nobody is. <laughs> he, gas he gassing. He gassing me. Nah, bro, this this one he did for the phone last night is the best one. Nah, I just got it last night. Terry, you killed this. Quote me on that, second take is always the best take. All right. How many more y'all gotta shoot? Oh, fuck, a lot. A lot. Fuck, yeah. How, what's y'all pace? How many y'all do a week or? We'll probably do like every other day or every two days. Damn. It just depends on, it depends on, you know, it depends on how JP feeling, but we've been good so far. We've been doing good. It's all Airbnb, man. Get the get the code to the joint. They change the code every time. Yeah. I guess if I steal it, they got all my information. They'll fuck me up. Yeah, they gonna they gonna do me the worst way if I take a, a fucking. Yeah, yeah. Take 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 a little Santa setup. I dare you. They, they want me to take it. Actually, they make it that easy. Cons of living outside the city now. After my shoot, I gotta drive 45 minutes out to go and let my dogs out because I can't let them suffer like that. So it makes my commute a little bit harder, but it's just what I got to do right now till I, till I get the right spot in Atlanta for a home. But we're going to make it work. So let the dogs out and then we can get right to it. All right, it's probably the coolest gift I've ever been given. It's my first NFT that YouTube sent me. I want to say it was a Christmas gift. It's a custom NFT. Sorry, they created for Big Blends called the creative spirit it's crazy because it got love in the back and love is one of my pillars to life uh, so they said they make these based off the person's channel so i think dude look at your channel and make you an nft but yeah i don't know too much about nfts but i ain't no nft genius i ain't selling nobody no nft i see everybody trying to sell somebody an nft or tell them about a project i just want to show y'all my pretty ass little nft that youtube sent me i just want to flex that that's it take care of my babies gotta take care of your babies but don't hang out with no man on take care of his own. It's where it's live by. I take care of mines. We just pulled up to the store. I gotta get my brother a little baby a birthday present. It's probably the latest birthday present he gonna get. But there's another working piece to making his birthday present happen that I couldn't make happen until January. Even though his birthday was like December 3rd or something like that, top of December. But better late than never. Finally getting around to it. It'll be the latest, but I bet you it'll be the greatest. It'll be the best birthday present he and I ever got. 
I had to get super creative because obviously, you know, like what do you get somebody that got everything? And think about something that you would use every day. Plenty of options to pick from. Can't show y'all the options, but I got options here. Let's do it. All right, part one done. On to part two. And I'll get it. I'll get already get a list of what the barber school would need as far as making it up to date as possible. You know, if this is the Vic Lens Academy, what makes it feel like the Vic Lens Academy for them? So, all right, uh, thinking about what that looks like as far as what they need. All right, we'll talk soon. Just got a hundred percent confirmation that my prison barber program is on go. Hundred percent happening. Already scouted locations. Already approved. Already budgeted for it, so that's that's a big win. I, I, I'm like lots of words. That's surreal, you know. That's impact, and uh, for me, that's you know, it's legacy. Like I don't believe in just being a person with followers, money, and shit like that. If you ain't gonna share it to help other people, so I'm just grateful. You know, God bless me with people like Scott in my life that were able to help me make things happen. It's a team effort, but the right alignment with the right people will make dreams happen, guaranteed. Perfect, right there. Got it. Got it. Yep. I, I got you. I'll take care of you, bro. I, I appreciate no, it. I mean, I mean, you were, you've been really patient. I yeah. Really appreciate it. It's, he yeah. gonna love it regardless whether you get it now or later, bro. Thank, thank you, you so much, man. All right, we at the infamous Atlanta Beltline. The reason I come to Atlanta Beltline is it gives me the most opportunity to find people to cut. It's a high traffic area. There's all types of different people here. I just get such wide range of opportunity here. So, you know, pretty much every time that I've done a video here, it's been somebody different, different vibe, different conversation. And you know, that just makes sense. And uh, the atmosphere is dope too. It feels good. Hello. What's up, you straight? I'm straight, you straight? Yeah, we're gonna grab some food. Do you, you do it, you do it, you do it for us? Yeah, I do it for you, my love bug. Love bug. Love bug. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love your hair. Thank you, my love. You want me to take it down for you? Can I see it? Natural. <laughs> Man behind everything, public and haircut combined. The process is not as easy as it seems. People probably think I come out here and first person I ask is down to get a haircut. That's not how it how it goes. I feel God give me the right person anytime that I do these, so it'll happen. So you gotta be patient. Hey, bro, I was looking at your dog the whole time. Nah, bro. he good, bro. He good. He good. I got, a, I got an XL bully. You can hold him. Look. See, I got an XL. She just ain't this damn big. <laughs> Ghost. Uh, Man, nothing but love, nah, bro. Love, hey, bro. I respect what you do, bro. Nah, I keep appreciate it up. that, bro. so much for the